Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Um, this is a shadow box. Um, I just did the one, uh, what's that called, a uh, cardinal one. But this one's going to be different. You see how thick this one is? And the backing, instead of having that horrible styrofoam thick stuff, this is just this nice thin um, board. So when you put it in here, there's a lot of room. You see all the room I have? That's going to be cool because I'm going to add some stuff inside of it. And when I, you, those of you that use sure cuts a lot, we have a, a fully packed designers program, which I love. And you've seen me do a place image and then a print. So that's what I did for this. It's uh, Jingle Bell's song sheet. And I did it, I sized it to 8 by 10 So now I'm going to trim that out. And um, I'm going to place that on this board so that this will be the backing of my shadow box that I'm going to make. Okay, and when I go to put um, stuff like this on, because you know sometimes when you glue, it makes it pucker. And then if you, sometimes if you use the glue guns, it doesn't stick. So to make it stick, I like using this orange tapey stuff. This stuff is awesome. So I'm just gonna run a tiny bit because you don't you don't need an awful lot. Probably a little bit in each corner will do me. And depending on where you shop to get this, some of it they treat it like it's made of gold and stuff like that. No, no, thank you. Okay, so I'll finish gluing all this on here and be back. Okay, so here's what it looks like after I put it on the board. So let's get busy doing the other stuff. Okay, so I have an 8x10 frame, right? So my glass should be 8x10, right? No. Always make sure that you measure. It is just a little bit over 7.5. It's actually 7 and 5 eighths wide. And it is eight or nope nine and five eighths tall. So that's how big I am able to make my file. All right. So anything that goes on the glass is going to be have to be that uh, small or smaller. Okay. So I have my file all saved. And you see, I don't go by color, so these could all be clear. It doesn't matter to me. What I do though is I put my colors in the 6x6 six six box, well it's not a true 6x6, six six, okay, this is like a 6x5 point something, because this scan and cut mats are not 12x12, 12 12, remember, okay, so I'm going to come up here, this is for people that may be new to this, you go to export, and it'll bring up this stuff, so I'm going to come in here, I find my stick, and I actually name it, gen stick so that all this stuff here you don't get confused okay so you can name your stick come down here I'm trying to get this focus for you we're going to change our file type to FCM and we're going to name it Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you save, export, and FCM from SCAL um, to our cutter. Now, I put that on a stick. I can also send it wirelessly, and I can also send it through the USB cord because I have the Scan and Cut 2. For those users um, that have the first version, the original Scan and Cut, you can only use um, the USB stick right now. If they do um, do some other things to the Scan and Cut in an update, there may be other things for us to do. All right, so let's get cutting. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know if you've noticed a theme here with all of my projects, but I'm trying to catch as many of the other tutorials as I have um, as I go because I think it, this, a lot of the stuff is really important. This is cleaning your mat. Take a scraper, go through and scrape all that crap off of it. 
go through and just scrape. You'd be surprised how much junk is left on there, okay? So give it a good scrape. As you see, I mean, it, it can be a workout. I do this after every time I use it. And if I don't, I still do it every time before I use it. I leave my mats uncovered. And the reason I do that is so that I have to clean them before I use them. Um, of course, your mats are going to lose their sticky if you don't clean them. Plain and simple. And you see I am putting some mass in it, Alice. you got to really get in there and rub. And just give it a good clean. And that's why this mat has lasted me forever. But this is a really old mat. And I noticed my new mat, the adhesive wore off really quick. So I don't know if they change their um, <clears throat> way that they make them. But this mat right here, this is the one that I showed you that I had to restick. I used the, the Zig... Uh, glue pen on this big fat thing I used this and I had to retack it um, and I think it this was maybe a month old you can see there's hardly well it's me there's hardly any cuts on it as compared to this dirty old thing but if you keep them clean you know it should last a while okay I am about ready to let this dry off as I go pick out the colors of vinyl that I'm going to use for my jingle bells. Alright. Now with this shadow box, <clears throat> I'm putting the vinyl on the outside because the things I'm going to have on the inside can actually rip it or displace it um, if it, you know, gets jostled around too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting the vinyl on the outside. Start getting my transfer tape around. And I know that the moon is going to go down first. I think that's how I want it, yeah. So, Put it down, take it across, flip it over, peel it off. And this has already been clean and not touched. I think about right there looks good. start at one side and then work your way over. And just be careful. Don't push on this glass too hard. You do not want it to break on you. Peel the transfer tape back onto itself. And grab the next one. And I think that's going to be Santa, and I need to go grab him. Okay, so. I have little Santa.
Okay. And now a little beer. Can't even pick that up. Okay, and then now the words. I'm going to have to take some time and work some of these bubbles out because it looks like there's a lot of bubbles in it, but they're not moving, so I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, there they go. Okay. Just the difference in pressure that this one provides as compared to the other lighter, more pliable yellow one. I love that little yellow one. Okay, I'll get most of them out. And this one I didn't do the wet method on because this one's actually for me, so I really don't care if it has bubbles in it. Because my living room is actually really dark. So you can't see anything anyhow. So doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's that. And now we have some little jingle bells to add.
think that's about all I'll do. And then I'm going to go in and actually do some highlighting on this. I, I don't like flat looking objects. So I'm going to go do some highlighting and then I will be back. Oh, okay, so I got all the little embellishing done. And when I told you I had went to uh, the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, and showed you what I had got. And a bunch of you were asking questions about how this and how that. And I told you I'd show you. Well, here we go. You just dump those little presents in there. And some or all of the packages of Jingle Bells, however you want. And you fill it up how high and how much you want. You set your um, your board with whatever you have on it, phrase, picture, how you know, whatever. Trying to get these separated a little bit. Now you see what I mean about not having the vinyl on the inside. You really don't want that. You're making like a giant shaker box. And then you set your wood in there. Fold the clamps down. And there you go. Oops, let me pick it up for you. Bring it in here for you to see. There is your jingle all the way background with the sheet music. And then your little what are those little presents and jingle bells but you can shake them to rearrange them however you want but I just think those are so pretty um, you can change the font you can change the colors whatever you want um, you know however you want it to make it look all right but I really really like that I think I may go in and do a shadow on this letter um, or uh, this phrase and pop a red in on top of this gray to kind of make it pop out a little bit more but that's how you do those they're so simple and they just look so pretty and it's not that much money to do okay guys thanks a lot if you have any questions come and find me over at scan and cut jam sessions or scan and cut canvas and scowl help on facebook thanks guys